Welcome back guys to a brand new video today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to get the free mystery player this week, Jaron Jackson Jr. The card is insane. I don't have him yet, but I've seen many gameplays with him. Uh, it's a really good card. This is the card, it's a 96 overall pink diamond. Um Yeah, so oh wait, that's 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 interesting. Okay, um, so the way you get this card is the same as all the other weeks. You go down here. I already did these. You do the um, week three clue challenge, which is get five assists with a center in a single game, uh, score 27 points with a power forward in a single game, and then get 12, 12 rebounds with a center over multiple games. And then that will unlock the week three new lead, which is um, score 11 points with power forwards in a single game triple their offline game score 20 points in the paint with the center in a single game and make nine three-pointers with the power forward in a single game and then that will unlock the jaron jackson jr challenge which is get one block with uh grizzly players in a single game uh score 50 points with grizzly power forwards over multiple games and win a game using 10 grizzlies players that's a lot of grizzlies players um so yeah i'm gonna I'm going to resume the video when I get the card, and I'll show you guys how good it is. Also, remember to subscribe, like, share, comment. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. I usually reply as fast as I can, which is usually pretty quickly. Um, and yeah. We're back, guys. As you can see, we have finally gotten 10. It took so long. We finally gotten 10 Grizzlies players. Um, yeah, we, we spent about 10K, as you guys can see. Um... And we finally got 10 Grizzlies players, so I'm going to go into this game, see what I could do, and I'll, hopefully I'll get the player And in one game. Otherwise, it'll take more, but I think I could do it in one game, and peace. For now, for now, peace. But, like, in a second. Guys, someone had asked a question last video in the comments, um, and I don't know if you understood, but just to clarify, you do not need to... Um, play all the you, you you need the 10 players in your lineup he he was confused because he put the 10 players in his lineup what i like to do is because i don't really know if they have to play in the game is at the end of the game when i know i'm winning and i know i'm gonna win with with the players that i need to win with that i put them in and i try and like do something with it. i try and get them get them to touch the ball or something at least at the end of the game so that i know that 2k knows they play like they have them in the book you know what i'm saying so i recommend you guys do that at also and I'll see what happens at the end of the game. I right, also in between quarters, I'm just gonna tell you, um, guys, I don't know if uh, this person, if I understood his comment correctly, he said I've played multiple games with these players, with with the seven players, and it's stopping me from, and it's the only thing stopping me from winning the challenge. So I thought in my head, I don't know if he's playing, like. A triple threat game right and then winning the triple threat game and then playing another triple threat game with different players and then winning it it has to be in the same game so you have to play like a domination game or a limited game or or like something else it can't be like you can't win a game with one player and then in a separate game win with another player it has to be all in one game with all those 10 players so it cannot be separated i don't know if i understood his comment correctly but that's that's a another answer to his com uh comment so I hope if I didn't get it the first time that now you understand. All right, all right, boys. It is now the fourth quarter in my game, and I'm gonna show you quickly a way that you can make sure that all of your players get some playing time in the game, and to see who has and who hasn't. Because I know for me that when I'm in a game, I'm not focusing on who's in and who's out. I'm focusing on how much energy they have. So here's how you could check. Um, there's a there's a place right here where it says minutes. Um, as you can see did not play did not play this doesn't matter that they did not play because they're not my the players that i needed but if you don't know who the players that you needed to play are then i recommend you put them in oh and there's another one right here that i think didn't play oh no it's cunningham hold on yeah no so all them all them played uh as you could see bro drew good in 39 points uh he's literally scored every single point for me this game because there is a challenge as you guys saw before that says 
um, score 50 points with any Grizzly power forward. So 39 in the fourth quarter. Hopefully, I'm going to get to 40. Um, if you guys really want to make sure that you don't ha uh, have to play another have to play another game, then I would try and get something on the stat sheet other than minutes for these players. So I did try and do that. Uh, as you can see, most of these players have a rebound. AI has two assists. Um, Jaw has one block. Uh, oh shoot! Wait, don't don't I need a block with a center, bro? He stole. Oh no no no! Dang has a block. Okay, fine, that's good. He's a center. No, yeah, yeah okay, good. Um, and then also, like you see, all these players have something on the stat sheet. Um, let me finish the game, and then we'll preview the card. And yeah, there's also another card that was just released as I'm making this video in the glitch market. So stay tuned for after. I preview this card because I'm going to show you guys how to get that one. I do just want to let y'all know quickly that um, right now Grizzlies players are very expensive for the 10 Grizzly player challenge. Uh, if you want a sniping filter, I recommend doing 3,000 uh, for a Grizzlies player. And if you do it, it you got to make sure that you're going to be able to do the challenge that day because if you're not, then the players are going to drop. So if you're if you're not eager to do the challenge right away, then I. I would just wait till the price of the Grizzlies players drop and and then do it and then get the cards. But if if you really want it, then you could buy the cards and if you do the challenge within like I'd say two hours, there's no chance you lose more than uh two K M T on it, which isn't bad, especially when you're getting a pink diamond for free, so or technically for two K I guess. So I would recommend you guys do that. I don't know why why the frame rate is so bad, but yeah, so make sure you um, have the ten players, and if you and if you do it quickly, then you could sell them back for the same amount. Now, I'll see you guys at the end of the game. Yo, guys, I'm sitting here, bro, trying to finish this game. My friend calls me. He's like, "Yo, look at this." He pulled a dark matter in a pack, bro. I swear, I've been saving up for a dark matter for literally months, bro. I literally have three hundred k. I'm about to get a dark matter. I swear, he he opened he opened a pack like 40 minutes ago and like he only opened two packs total he opened a pack 40 minutes ago he got a diamond kawaii and then he also got a, a um a an opal deron williams bro i swear his packs are juiced got he got an opal deron williams and a kawaii in the same pack the kawaii's not that good but it doesn't matter bro you got a diamond and a, and a opal in the same pack and then and then like 20 minutes later he's like yo i gotta open another pack opens the pack gets a freaking dark matter chris bosh I swear it's so dumb, bro. I mean, good for him, but like, yo, that's wild. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below, like, for real, for real, because like, I don't know. Y'all think that's crazy, Lucky? Do y'all think they juiced the packs this time because nobody bought the uh, idols last time? Y'all gotta let me know. Um, if, if you're a pack opener, open some packs, bro, let me know. Uh, what you get, if you get anything, or if my friend's just extremely lucky because he literally just pulled a freaking Dark Matter. Chris Bosch, a Galaxy Opal Deron Williams, and a, um, what else did he pull? And, and, and a Kawhi, all in the same pack, bro. Uh, all in two packs. So let me know what you guys think, and we're almost heading to the end of the game. I we're just to the end of the game, bro. We'll see. Okay. Uh, we got the 50 points with Drew good in, so we should be getting the card. Um, we're loading out of this game. I'm going to show you all the card. I'm going to try and rip a pack and get something. Um, yeah, we'll see. But, like, whatever's going on right now, boys, it's crazy, bro. He's calling me. He's calling me. Hold on. Alright, y'all, so, he called me, he's like, yo, there are no Chris Boshes on the market. You guys gotta let me know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think that's a good thing because that means that they're really rare and nobody's ripping packs. Um, here we go, 10KMT. We got the Jaron Jackson card, by the way. We get no shakes. 
we get a we get a blue uh, Jamal Murray that we don't even have. So I'm gonna send to the auctions. Um, let me see the percentages, Loki, because bro, this kid this kid literally got this, this, and and the uh, um thing. I got that because I read the pack when he got his old bull, bro. Because I was like, oh my god, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, let me see the odds, right, real quick. The odds, 13% to get a 92. Wow, so the odds are really not bad. Um, so, Carmelo Anthony idols, or you can pull, or any idols to VIP player contains one guaranteed player for random items with a chance of pulling a Dark Matter Carmelo. That's wild, bro. If someone's ripping packs, you gotta let me know. Um, bro, this, team, this kid's team went from, like, nothing to, like, something, bro. In, in like, flip of a finger, bro, with 10 KMT. Alright, so here's this Jaron Jackson card. Um, then I'm gonna tell you guys about the uh, other card that I, that I was talking about, like, two minutes ago. Uh, I don't know, I forgot, bro. Whatever, I was able to get this all in one game. Uh, I was also saying I do recommend you guys get a... Um, a, a power forward that can score points. It was a little difficult with Drew Gooden, but I was able to do it, and I had to score literally every point with him. I couldn't pass to anybody else the whole game, um, so it was pretty, it was pretty tough. But I was able to do it. And then next week we're gonna get the classified players again. Oh, look at all these challenges I've done, bro. We're literally on a grind. We're about to hit level thirty-seven and get the diamond contract. Um, okay, let's let's test out this player right here. Oh, is he not on my lineup? Do I have to like switch here? Hold on. Substitution. Oh, it has to be your. Oh shoot, bro. Hold on. Alright, just real quick, so y'all see the stats, and then we're gonna go into a practice with him. I just put him in my lineup. Okay, so 88 driving layup. Post. I don't really care about post control. That's nice. Okay, fine. He has a 93 three-point shot and a 94 mid-range shot. Um, this card's definitely insane on next gen. I, it's it's not going to be as good on current gen, but it's definitely going to be a god on next gen. You have a 95 standing dunk, 85 driving dunk. You have a ball handle 86, which is also insane. A block 95. This card's insane at defense. Okay, perimeter defense 86, but interior defense is 94. 94 both rebounds. Speed is a 91. Speed with balls 87. Acceleration is at 91. This card's amazing. Okay, then let's see the badges real quick. Wow, 29 and 26. That's a lot of badges. Okay, fine. So you got post spin. Yeah, a lot of post badges. Got rim protector. That's important. Chase down artist. That's good. Uh, box, clamps, hall of fame. Interceptor, hall of fame. Intimidator, hall of fame. Post riser, pogo stick, post lock. Tireless defender, rise up. And I... Anti freeze, you got circus threes, that's big on next gen. Deep threes, that's big on next gen. Hot shot, that's big on next gen. Um, downhill, dream, dream sake, uh, I don't know, I'm not really a post kind of guy. Um, set shooter, quick first step, that's big on next gen. So you got a, you got a lot of big badges. It's got dimer, gold. What about like ankle breaker? It's, it's probably got ankle breaker gold or something. Oh, it's got green machine gold, hot zone hunter gold. If you have hot zone hunter hall of fame, then definitely add that, tack that onto this, uh, this deal because he's got some hot zones, I think. He's got some good hot zones. Uh, let me check. Oh, why can't I check? Hold on, y'all. I gotta find the hot zone. I all see the hot zones. It's got hot zones everywhere except for the center, so that's pretty big. I don't, I'm not really a center shooter. I'm more of like a wing type of guy, so this card's definitely going to be good for me. Um, now I'm just going to go quickly into a freestyle. And let's see what we could do with this card. Hold on. Let's see what we could do. Wait, why can't I, why can't I do a sub, bro? This card's got some some good. It's it's very quick, bro. This card's very quick. All right, let's take a shot. Interesting release, not bad. I'm not loving it though. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Never mind. Never mind. It's really good. Um, just first shot wasn't wasn't too good. Ooh. Uh, everything's hot zones with this card. Uh, green. Card's definitely not like a like a um center 
center shooter type of guy because you can't really see the ball in the center so it's good like he has it he has it under his under his head so you can't really see but see that dunks oh my god yeah you could tell this card's gonna posterize anyone um and the hot zones right there Ooh, let's see about one of these bro if you guys want a tutorial on how to do that op move that i just did let me know in the comments uh okay yo now on to the second part of the video where i explain to you how to get this dark matter uh, uh dark matter no uh galaxy opal from the glitch market okay so here we are this is the method okay you want to play as many triple threat offline games as you can if it's if you don't really feel like it's going to happen in triple threat offline while well, you can get the danny fairy from the vault so that's like double win win if you get either of those um you can go to multiplayer triple threat online and play that while you grind for the ron harper it's either one of those those are the games you have to play it happens randomly which is really dumb by 2k but if i say you spend an hour you don't win you don't get it then i would go to the other game mode if you really want to grind for this card i mean i wouldn't i'm not really i'm not really going to grind for this card uh guys by the way in this corner that only means rebounds are worth three more vc than they used to be for the weekend so don't get excited by that um and yeah i hope you guys like this video make sure to like subscribe and uh, comment down below follow my sh social medias i do post stuff on them i post locker codes and stuff so i don't make a locker code video every time there's a locker code so if you guys want to see all the locker codes um follow my follow my twitter um and yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video uh if you have any questions let me know in the comments and peace